press select for options. No. The press select for options, starring... Got it already. <laughs> starring the awesome Jeff Heilbrown. Hey, it's Matt. How you doing? And over there, uh, Mr. Subtitle Man, uh, Fred Cobb. No, no. Wait, Call what's your phone? Wait, wait, man. wait, what's your full name? The think. Long Hair Sucker. Oh. The Long Hair Sucker. That's, um, that's yeah. pretty gay. Anyway, as usual, Jeff. Gay. You just don't understand. Oh, I live in America. Gays aren't allowed. <laughs> oh, I, you were Dude, watching take that free. back, internet. Um, you, you were watching free. Okay. I, was, I was watching free. You put it on. That anime is weird. So, I'm pretty sure you're gay. Wow, that was weird. Don't too okay. Fast. Too fast, too spooky. Too spooky. <laughs> Alright, so today oh on God. the episode, we are going to talk about... Well, the first thing on the order of business is to talk about Don Matrix. And that, okay. Yeah. But anyway. I told you it was going to be the whole episode. Oh my god. So, Don Matrix was the face of Xbox. Is your cat dying? And Probably. the same guy who, when Jeff Keighley asked in his interview with him right before E3 started, a few hours before, I think, he, uh, he was like, if you don't have a good internet connection, just get an Xbox 360. And he was like, I Nuclear read, all the, subs? I read all the blogs. Someone was like, I live, in a, I live in a nuclear shop, what do I do? And he's like, I don't know, I'll get a 360. Oh, you suck my dick, maybe. So, just to prove how much of an ass wipe he really is, he is now the CEO of Zynga. Zynga. Zynga! Where's his friends? <laughs> so, yeah, what, what's up with that, right? Like, <laughs> who does that? Does all that bad PR and then just jump ship like that? It was all part of plan. It's all part of the plan. Well, was yeah. he a part of that company to begin with? What Zanger? Yeah. Nah. Not at all. You know how these guys. Nah, he know. just he just knows. Freaking uh, freaking Reggie and Nintendo wasn't always at Nintendo. No, he was with Pizza at first. And then Nintendo was like, "Yo, bro, you're pretty good at selling." Pizza. Actually, I'm a little curious to how that ever happened. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo was like, like "You're good at selling those pizzas. Come on down so, to uh, Nintendo." No, he did. He knew, I think he knew the guy, but he was not like affiliated business wise with him. He just knew him. But you know he's one of the he's one of the boys. He's one of the he's on the ins he's on the inside of the circle. So he gets fired. You know what he gets? Millions of dollars. What does it matter? You know he's CEO. He he left his job at Microsoft or whatever. And he's got millions of dollars. I wish I could just quit my job and be guaranteed oodles of money. Well, he's worth something. I mean, he has markability. What do you have? Um, A beard. Oh, slice right now I don't. Yeah, slice you'll finger have it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, it's just uh, you know, Fred makes a good point. He does uh, he has that uh skill set. You want to call That's, it that? That skill set yeah. to ruin an entire company. Hey, he did that once. Everybody gets everybody gets one. <laughs> Everyone. Gets one. <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna do that great of a job with Zenga. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, if he apparently they're a multi-million dollar company, so. Words with friends. Words with friends. DMR. They, they don't. <laughs> DMR. DRM. <laughs> whatever. You know what I meant. Drum or dumb, whatever. It's really stupid either way. Yeah. Words of. Well, they're Zanga's going for the casinos now, so who knows how that's going to work for them? Seeing as farm bills. Well, when you, when you do Temple Run, if you miss something, you, you take your money. They made Temple Run. No, it's no. <laughs> Oh, Zanga just gets profit. They now. just get profit for everything. Off of any iOS game yeah. or anything on the Android market too. <laughs> you buy anything digitally, Zanga just gets a five percent cut. But no, yeah, it's, it does kind of suck. You know, when you fail at doing your job and you get millions of dollars for it. If we were to do that, we'll get fired, and I will have nowhere to go. Well, what do they call it? A golden parachute? Yes. It's like a care package. It's dumb. It was like, it was like, just in case you do a bad job, just in case you do a bad job, here's millions of dollars. Like, what kind of bullshit? I wish I could do that. I wish that could happen to me. Well, when you become a marketable guy, I'm a marketable it won't guy. happen. No, you're not. I sell RV goods and yeah, accessories. no, you suck. No, you're product specialist, you said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't even sell the RVs. Yeah. I said, RV, I said I sell RV goods and accessories. Yeah, that's not enough. You need to be selling the RVs themselves. Then come talk to me. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just, Loser. I think it just Shut looks up. bad. I think it looks bad on Microsoft because they don't have anyone right now to stand up, like, to take the position.
position that Don had, except for like maybe Major Nelson and Major Nelson. Is, I don't know, he's not as. You know, I made this point, and I think in another one of our videos, yeah. but like with the whole Microsoft doing the whole 180 with their uh, policies on the 360. Yeah. I mean, on, on the 360, on the one. Like, you gotta look back on it and think about it. Like, yeah, he was kind of being a dick about it, but like, a man lost his job because of that. Like, he was defending the whole fact of the. Uh, I'm talking about Animal Work, by the way. But I mean, oh, he. Oh, Animal Work. Yeah. But he was defending like he was defending Microsoft to no end about like you know the online policy and all that shit. And then he, you know, they do the little 180, and then they change their policy, and, like, so this man, technically, like, I, I'm a firm believer of, yeah, if you do your job, like, if you do your job horrible, you should probably get fired, but everyone has to work, like, that's, like, that's my opinion, like, yeah. everyone, everyone needs a job sooner or later, you know, you know, you have a family to support and all that stuff, but, like, a man lost his job for technically nothing. For Not technically what they were going to do. Yeah, for what they were going to do, but they decided to pull back on it. He, what am I saying technically? They were going to do yeah, it. Yeah, they were. But, like, he lost his job because of that. Like, he lost, like, I'm not saying he lost his way of living, because I'm pretty sure he, he pulled something out of his ass, but, you know. Those kind of guys probably always got something. I'm saying, like, either either way, he still lost his job. Like, if he if he falls on, if he has nothing to fall on, he's going to be screwed. Now, Don Matrix, on the other hand, he's safe. He's good for uh, for life. I just imagine him walking out like the main office of Microsoft's Xbox division, mm -hmm. and he like pours a bunch of gasoline on the floor, and they're like, "What are you doing, Donnie?" And he's like, "Don't worry about it." And then like, he's like, "I'll see you guys later." And just lights the match and throws it on the floor. And then like Zanga's, the Zanga's building is right across the street, so it's like office space. <laughs> yeah. The Zanga building right across the street. Stay for. Oh my. That's that's my uh, Angry Birds uh, flush. I don't what understand why doing that. It's the yellow boomerang one. Is there is there a problem? A little. Yes, actually, they, you know there is a problem because Angry Birds, and I played the game one time on my crappy Ew. first, my first Ew. crappy Android phone. Ew. I couldn't even. It didn't have multi-touch, so I couldn't even like zoom in or zoom out. So um, ah! the next thing we want to talk about. Oh, it's Barkai. Oh yeah, when's that remake happening, guys? When you guys so hyped for it? When Hideo Kojima gets that stick out of this. I'm hyped. When he's done re reviewing Pacific Rim. I guess. I, I want Sabuna and Django and Hancock and, and Toasty. <laughs> no, not Toasty, Otanko. Okay, get out of here. You oh, you're so. You don't even know. You didn't even play Lunar Nights. No! Night, so. you, did you beat it? No. Yeah. Okay, so you, didn't, you can't fully enjoy the game unless you beat it, right? I guess. Sunlight. Okay. Tayo. I like this. Our son. I like this. What do anyway, you like? Next, next subject, yeah. Why can't we talk more about Boktai? All right, let's talk more about Boktai. It's a game you, you, it's a game you play in the sun. You bring it outside. I want to play Boktai. How much more do you want to talk about Boktai? All of it. Actually, I think I'm done. What? You made a big deal about it. Talk more about it. I think I'm done. I've been in Green. I've been in Green Hill. I've been in Emerald. Uh, Emerald Hill a little too long. I gotta get out of here. Anyway, next subject. Go ahead. Yeah, you're so mad right now. Yeah, I if know. You, if in case you guys can't, you guys can't see, but it, there's a vein on the middle of his head that's throbbing right I now. I hope you guys can feel the hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about the oh yeah, I guess that would that would be the next. Oh yeah, oh boy. The next topic. <laughs> the next topic in general <laughs> oh. ab about these Android consoles. Popping up on the market, <clears throat> being significantly cheaper than main consoles, and uh, being able to run all these. Uh, what, what is it? Ninety-nine dollars. The OEA is ninety-nine dollars. Yeah. There's a Nvidia Shield out too, but not a lot. Not people aren't talking about it. Isn't the Shield just the uh, Ooh. just a tablet? Uh, I'm not tablet? too sure what it looks like. To be honest, I only know a little bit about it. It costs three hundred. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking of something else. Then the one I'm thinking of is like two hundred. Anyway, the Oya is very interesting right now. I mean, it's out. It runs Android. It runs Android. It's Android based, so it runs all those like Android games that can do emulation and shit. Uh, I just don't really think it's worth getting because it's running off old hardware. But the uh, the Oya. No, I say it runs off the the, the Taker the, Three or whatever yeah. the hell they call it. Is that old? Yeah. I thought Taker like, Four is coming out. I thought I thought the Taker Three was like preferred amongst uh. Taker. No, uh, Tager. I can't I don't even anymore. know her. Oh my god. So, like, 
with the Oya, there's actually like, um, what is it? The oh my god, again! I'm sorry. The back, uh, the fact that the backers, the people who uh, put in for the Kickstarter, the eight million dollars that they made, a lot of those people didn't get their Oyas, and people go on their Facebook and their Twitter and complain that they didn't get their stuff, and other people are like, "Yo, stop complaining, stop being such a baby." And these are people who got their consoles. Of course, you're gonna, of course you're gonna say that when you got when you got it. They're like, "Hey, calm down, man. You shouldn't be angry at these people." Well, yeah, they should. They should be angry at them. They should have had. They should have had their stuff together beforehand. Uh, if you're doing a Kickstarter, you know, for a console for a console, you obviously need the money. So why would you give it away for free? Like, to be truly honest, that's like, like if Sega didn't have enough units when they were releasing the Genesis in America. Yeah, yeah. When they bundled Sonic with it. People, people will riot. Sonic Tuesday. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's just, I don't know, I feel like the OA is just like, I can understand it's just a game a like, step like down. I can understand if you game like free credits for like, a game or something like that, but don't give them a free. But they're not doing anything. Yeah, but, but don't give them like a free compliment. I thought you said, I thought you said, I thought you said, I thought you said no. people who were part of the Kickstarter. Were no, that's credits. what they're supposed to get. They paid huh. for it. Oh, they actually paid for it. Yes, they the put the money, it. yes, that was the whole point, the pre-order oh. for the console. Oh, the pre-order. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought, the way you meant, they thought, bat, No, see, when they did the Kickstarter, like, you, if you put X amount of dollars, you can get the system at launch, like, before launch, a few months before, and some people did, but a lot of other people didn't. That's my point. Uh, Those people should have got their console. Nope. That's pretty, like, and apparently the, the lady uh, who runs the company is really mad that this happened. She's just really mad about it. So, not really doing anything. This is a really dumb question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Go ahead. Is the Oya, like, officially, like, sponsored by Google? No. Okay. I don't think so. So, it's just, it's just like a, uh... It's like a tablet. It's just a tablet, but they hook up to your TV and it has a controller. Yep. Oh, is that what that thing is? Which is... You want to know what's funny about the controller? It runs off double A's. You know what's funny about the Oya? It looks like a little speaker. Want to know what else is funny about the Oya, which segues into the next thing, uh, how it's outselling the Xbox One right now on Amazon in Canada. It's weird. Well, the Xbox th- One is actually number four, apparently. Well, as Fred said earlier, the you know, Xbox One isn't out yet. But. Yeah, yeah, that's what I don't get. Why would you compare something that's out to something that's on pre-order? Like, if you're going to compare something, compare it You know what would be pre-order. amazing? If the what? Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 was out, was... Their pre-orders were outselling the Wii U sales already. That would be yeah, now see be something like that. That'd be the, something to work. Yeah, but the so the PS4 and the Xbox One launched in like four months. Or but whatever. yeah, I want to know the numbers on the Ouya so that I can judge whether or not this is even something to take into consideration. Like, ah. Okay, this is just like that thing when I told you that the PS4 controller was above the Xbox One at one point. Yeah, that's that's something notable. Like, it's just so weird that an Android console that just came out... Unless there's like a hundred sales for like the Ouya, and there's like five pre-orders for the Xbox One. Well, Microsoft isn't providing many consoles at launch to begin with. So. Alright, so that could be another reason. Too. It is another reason. So, What's that's it? what I'm saying. Is, oh, yeah. it, is this really a notable thing? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's weird. Personally, I think. How about, uh, how about uh, we throw this in there while we're talking about Xbox One? And, uh, unless you still want to talk about the Oya. But, uh, I mean, how. Okay, go ahead. Besides the Oya having pretty much almost outdated technology, and the whole point most people bought it was, like, for emulation purposes, I think it's a waste of time. But some people, whoever bought it, they're enjoying it. If you enjoy it, buy it. I mean, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. I mean, I just personally think it's a waste of time. I just, I don't know, it's just kind of a joke that. Microsoft's big consoles getting outsold by a little Android machine is all. Is there a problem with that? A little bit. I don't know, it just kind of looks bad on their part. Well, since we're on the subject of Xbox One, how about that, uh, no, no uh, Asian release this year, or Japan release? You mean how Japan gets a release next year, how they're tier two? They're Japan's not, tier two, bro. They're not a four, and they're stupid. Well, that's because it's. You can't play their Blaze Blues you know the, on the Xbox One. Do you know what the Xbox sold, the original Xbox sold like in Japan? No. A lead are. balloon? You ever, you ever, you ever read up on the Hindenburg? Yes. Yeah. It's all crash and burn. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I call it. Did you hear me? 
you say that now, he's gonna hear this. Yeah. He's gonna see this video and be like, "Those oh, son of a well, bitch." Well, at least he knows I was thinking about. Well, if he if he's working, then he's gonna. Okay. Be well, I was just saying. You know, whatever. Okay. So, back to the matter on him. I forgot. Thanks, Fred. We're talking about the Xbox One and Tier Two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the X the the original Xbox in Japan sold like a lead balloon. You know why the 360 did even remotely good in Japan? Being a no. Okay. <laughs> you know why I really did? No. Blue Dragon. Oh yeah. That was that one of the reasons because it was an RPG. It was Akira an Toyama Dragon Ball Z. It was an exclusive RPG to the 360. That was one of the reasons. That game looks so weird. 